members of the KJ family, and welcome to Kristen and Jamia. We're back, you guys, for another car bong. Woo! But not just any car bong. What? I was all off feet on that. Like, ah. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah, so we went to a place called Greens and Proteins, mm -hmm. located in Las Vegas, Nevada, of course, because that's where we live. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got some food. We're really, really hungry. Um, so uh, we got some, yeah, for a big variety. So I have a first thing I got is an avocado toast. Mm -hmm. It's avocado. It's on wheat bread, avocado, um, and then an egg and bacon. Looks really good. That looks really, really good. And I got a uh, cheesesteak wrap, chicken cheesesteak wrap. Um, they actually have a few options. I could have put it in a wrap or a hoagie. I got it in a wrap. Uh, but it looks really, really good. It does look good. Uh, there's, there's some peppers in there. They had lettuce. I asked them to take it out. Yeah, I didn't want lettuce, but tomatoes in there. Uh, bell peppers and probably some other stuff. Cheese, too, I'm assuming. Yeah. I got some sweet potato fries. And yeah. And then also, I mm -hmm. uh, was really hungry and I, the avocado toast was not going to settle me mm -hmm. only. So I got a frittata. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to show you this in a second, guys. I got like a turkey, broccoli, cheese frittata. <laughs> and I was like, okay, you know, thinking like it's going to be like the little Small. round, like uh, muffin kind of sizes. Yeah. Look at that. That's crazy. That's my frittata. Looks That's like a crazy. lasagna. It does look like a lasagna, an egg lasagna. That looks cheese. so good though. <laughs> so I'm excited. I know. So that, and then they also gave me like a side of uh, a green salad, which nice. um, I didn't know that they were going to do that, but that's awesome. Exactly. Um, and I, I got a tomato bisque, uh, basil bisque soup too. So we got a lot of stuff. And, and a little green salad. So oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of food. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Um, so, but we're excited. Yeah, yeah, let's eat. I'm so hungry. And we're switching things up, guys. We switched some stuff up. Not as um, we wanted to talk about just kind of some things we got going on mm -hmm. when it comes like to the gym and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, just kind of update you guys on that. Yes. Mm. Very interesting updates. Okay, here mm. we go. So this is their mm. American um, avocado toast. Mm -hmm. I have a hair. Oh no. No, 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 not in my food. Oh, okay. On my lip. <laughs> Calm down. Mm. Okay, there you go. Mm. This is really good. Mm. It's good? Mm. <laughs> and the black sesame seeds on here. Yep. I just feel like, mm hmm. Sorry, one second. You gotta. Adjust. Yep. I just love an egg mm -hmm. and a piece of toast with it some bacon well. and avocado. <laughs> but tell me that's not like just the best breakfast. It works really well. Mm. Those things got, when did those even get popular? I feel like. I was making this. Years ago? In high school. Oh, were you? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, for sure. I was I never heard about it. Yeah, well. And I just gave it a name. Okay, I wasn't mashing the avocado. Oh, we were just putting it on bread. We were just putting it on bread with an egg. Yeah, yeah and bacon. Mm -hmm. But I only really have a name for it. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I remember mm -hmm. maybe, mm -hmm. I want to say like 20, 2015, 2016, I feel like people were talking about like all the hipsters and stuff. That was like their thing, avocado uh -huh. toast, you know? Yeah, it was like a, yeah, look at that. Sorry if it grosses you up for those who don't like yolk. <laughs> but I love yolk, and it's really good. <laughs> yeah. So yours is good? Really good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. I got something similar to this at another place. Um, we did a video on, I can't remember the name of it, mm -hmm. a few weeks ago. Protein House? Yes, Protein House. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't the same thing, so I, you know, I obviously compare, I can't really compare exactly. But this just tastes so much better than what I got. Mm -hmm. What I got was good last time, but this is like really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. So you guys were out and about today. Mm-hmm. Um, windy day. It's windy in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Very, very windy. So. I hear this is a normal. Oh. I hear this is a normal. Really? Mm-hmm. I told you. I could be wrong. The guy at Whole Foods, mm. he said that there's, um, uh, well, you know what he said? He didn't say that, because I think there is a lot of wind normally, but as much as, like, as bad as the wind has been, mm. he's like, that's not normal. Mm. Like, today might be a normal windy day, because it's not, like, crazy. Mm -mm. But we've had some days where it's, like, hurricane almost feeling like, mm -hmm. what's going on here? <laughs> like, one of those, like, 
desert dust storms. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. We had it like a week or two ago. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, this is really, really good. Good. Yeah, I would get this again. Mm. Same here. Mm -mm -mm. Same here. So, mm -hmm. I want to tell you guys what we did. We made a change. Mm -hmm. mm. And I found this super interesting. Mm -hmm. and so, I wanted to talk to you guys about this. Um, so, we were going to Planet Fitness. Mm -hmm. um, it's $10 a month. Honestly, Planet Fitness, if you guys have one in your area, it's like the best deal for a gym. It really is a good deal. Yeah, 10 bucks. They don't have any classes, but... Not a, a lot of people don't take classes, you know? Mm -hmm. So it was a wonderful gym, um, especially here in Vegas. Very big, tons of machines, da, da, da. We really liked it, right? Mm -hmm. And then we've been uh, swimming a lot in our apartment complex. Our um, our nice. pool's 24-7. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so that's been really nice. Except, and I don't know if we talked about this, <laughs> um, a lot of, like, kids, and when I say kids, like, you know, 21. Yeah, um, or younger. No, I mean, you're looking at like 18. Do you think some are Oh, under yeah. Age? Yeah, for sure. Um, like yeah. at nighttime, they'll want to use the hot tub. Yeah. And they'll bring alcohol and just blast music. You guys, at 1, 2 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. I think we did talk about this. I think we did. Too. I think we mentioned it. Yeah. So, you know, we've been dealing with it for a while, but it's just almost getting to the point where we're just like, it's not worth it to come here and... These kids are partying, blasting music. They're loud. And they're obnoxious. Super loud. Yeah. And we have security guards that come through, but they don't tell them to stop. <laughs> they don't tell them. And what's what's really sucks, like, I don't know why mm -hmm. this is the case. That was good. Is it really good? Mm -hmm. Good. We have, there's apartments all around the pool, right? So late night, these people are hearing the music. They're like, you know, it's, it's loud, super loud. In fact, I think one time we looked up in someone's window and we could see them like staring out mm -hmm. and you know, I'm sure they're trying to get some sleep but they couldn't, you know, cause the kids were loud. Yeah, blasting music. Um, yeah. So anyways, one night we tried to use the pool. So we've been going at night yep. um, and doing like big, you know, aquatic workout things. Yeah. <laughs> aquatic? Oh, I aquatic. guess it was aquatic. Yeah. I was gonna say. Um, workouts in the pool, aquatic, yeah. yeah. Aquatic aerobics, whatever you wanna call aerobics, it. But anyways, yeah. it's been really fun. But anyways, one night um, we are about to use the pool and mm -hmm. then uh, the security person comes up to him and is, and is like, oh, the pool's closed for the night. And we're like, oh, man, you know. <laughs> yeah. And you're all ready. You know, you have to get into your swimsuit. You have to grab your towel. You got to, you know. Yeah. It's kind of a lot. Um, anyways, but we got down there and she's like, oh, it's closed. We're like, okay. And then basically we found out that the kids were using it earlier, uh, like a few hours earlier. Well, she told us the whole thing. She told us what happened. Yeah. She said pretty much what happened was a fight broke out. Mm-hmm. And there were beer bottles everywhere, which, by the way, I'm like, why are there beer bottles? It doesn't matter. Anyways, there's beer bottles everywhere. Mm -hmm. She said there was, like, blood uh, some places. Like, they were, like, literally, there was, like, literally a fight that broke out. Liquor bottles in the pool. Yeah. She's like, you actually probably don't even want to go in there, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> even yeah. if it was open. I'm like, yeah, I probably don't, you know? Yeah. So. We were, I was so upset. I was like, man. Yeah, that was all bad. Uh -huh. And then, you know, so then she's like, it's closed till further notice. Mm -hmm. And in our opinion, we're like, well, it's probably going to, you what know, from mean? what it sounded like, we're like, it might be closed for a week or mm -hmm. a month or indefinitely. Who knows? No, she said closed indefinitely oh. is what she said. She said indefinitely. Did she? Yes, she did say that. She said indefinitely. So Maybe she doesn't know what that means. What that means. <laughs> but she said that. That's what she said. I remember that. That's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, no, this is Seriously? that. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, like two days. Oh, dude. Well, we went down there two days later, and it was reopened. Yeah. No, you know, perfectly fine. No, the next day. It was was the it the next day? day? Yeah. Okay, the next day it was reopened. It was reopened the next day. Mm -hmm. They just had to clean but, the clean the pool. But what's interesting, mm -hmm. really interesting, is when we uh, we see the security guard, the lady again, and we were like, uh, "So is it open?" And she's like, "Oh yeah, it's open. You guys can go right in. No problem." You know, we're back at one two a.m. seeing her, mm -hmm. and she was like, "And guess what?" And we were like, "What?" She's like. They let those kids come right back in and they were here again partying just a little bit ago. And it's so crazy. I'm like, aren't they going to, the apartment com uh, the apartment complex, they're not going to kick anyone out? Yeah, or? like ban somebody. Yeah, ban somebody. You caused obviously a huge ruckus. The police had to come. They arrested people. Yeah, that's right. The you police disturbed yeah. hella residents yeah. that faced the pool. Mm -hmm. But no, 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 zero consequences. And the, and the security guard showed us a little bit of video 
uh, of someone getting dragged dragged around by the friend trying to like break up the fight <laughs> and the person was clearly drunk clearly drunk shouting top of their lungs mm -hmm. and um wasted yeah, they let the person back in absolutely wasted yeah they shouldn't be letting so, people back in no you know but, so i don't know that's honestly really annoying because it ruins you know the experience yeah. for people who just want to be quiet like us just want to mm -hmm. use the pool you know yeah. not disturbing anybody so anyways we're like okay i'm not i'm like f this because i've been really enjoying the pool yeah so i'm like we gotta get a pool you yeah. know we gotta figure out where we can use the pool so we gotta switch it up so we switched it up yeah and we found this place um mm -hmm. las vegas athletic club is that what it is yep is this a quesadilla that they gave me yeah it's like a hard quesadilla you dip it well, yeah maybe it's like a it's it's extremely hard <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, okay i guess it works you got cheese in there, so okay. listen. You're happy about it, okay? <laughs> kind of. I wish it was soft, but that's okay. You want like bread, bread? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's okay. You. Anyways, yeah, this place uh -huh. called Las Vegas Athletic Club. I think they have like seven locations throughout Vegas. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, we joined it. Um, and because they have an indoor pool, they have actually like a lap pool with two mm -hmm. lanes, and then they have a separate pool that doesn't have any lanes, but it's huge, and you can just do like your erotic, uh, erotic. erotic. <laughs> Your erotic <laughs> pool swimming. <laughs> Your erotic pool workouts. <laughs> oh my god, that's aerobic. so funny. Yeah. <laughs> you can do your aerobics in there. Mm -hmm. Or just like chilling, you know, relax. Like a lot of people just kind of like sit in the pool, just like, you know, mm -hmm. hang around and stuff. I do want to also mention uh, Planet Fitness doesn't actually have a pool, which is why we um, mm -hmm. signed up for this new membership because. Yeah. Although we do really like Planet Fitness, it is nice. Once again, we want something that's a little bit bigger, more size. Um, the you know the actual gym itself and has a pool, you know. Mm -hmm. And this place is awesome. It's really really nice. So yeah, mm -hmm. I'm joining this place. They have the upstairs and downstairs. Mm -hmm. You can look on the websites, but usually is, I think all the layouts are like the same. Downstairs mm -hmm. is like the pool. Yep. <clears throat> locker rooms. Um, I think like one. <clears throat> when um classroom you know to do your workout mm -hmm. classes and stuff and then you go upstairs and that's where they have all the weights all the cardio mm -hmm. you know things like that um but anyways so we've been using it it's been good mm -hmm. i'm gonna say good not great how would you feel so you you, you feel it's not great huh which is cool yeah which i want to talk about i'm actually gonna agree with you um starting up was really affordable Oh, it's like $25, $25 a, month. a month. Which is good. Although you're committed to two years, two I think. Years, yeah. Unless you move out of town or somewhere else, then you can show proof and they'll disconnect you from the contract and stuff, essentially, or yeah. avoid the contract. But $25 for, for two years isn't bad. Like, it's actually really good, especially for everything you get. Mm -hmm. However, there's little small things that I would definitely say Planet Fitness does a little better, which I really like. <laughs> Unlike you eating the salad, which you don't like. There's watermelon in here. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just not like a fruit salad person. Salad girl. Mm. I mean, there's one I like. It's the um, yeah, strawberry. Wa walnuts with strawberry mm -hmm. and like the raspberry vinaigrette. So you oh, are and the fruit. goat cheese. I can do that. Yeah. No. But watermelon? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't like it, huh? No. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Come on. <laughs> well, I love watermelon. You sound like me. No, I love watermelon, but I, I can't stand it. I like it just by itself. Bad. I don't know if I like it with the greens. Okay, yeah. anyway, sorry. Got it. Okay, okay so tell me, you said you've, it's oh yeah, so twenty five dollars a month to sign up. Yeah, pretty much what I was saying is it's it's just it is a it's a very nice gym. We do like it, um, but it's I think what it is is there's certain things that Planet Fitness I think does a little better. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's. The people are different too. Yeah. I feel like at Planet Fitness, they really do a good, I don't know how or why, but they do a good job of like making it feel like everyone's welcome. Yep. This place kind of has like more bodybuilders, mm -hmm. more people that are like really like into fitness and like serious about it. Yep. Um, more of a muscle gym. Exactly. Muscle gym and stuff like <laughs> what that. What I love about know? Planet Fitness, and by the way, we kept the Planet Fitness membership mm -hmm. just because it's only $10 a month. Yeah. So we'll still go there once in a while. But mm -hmm. uh, Planet Fitness, it says like no gym intimidation. Everyone's welcome. Leave your ego at the door. Like, so I just feel like those signs alone <clears throat> yeah. are good, you know, are encouraging. And like, 
you'll see all sorts of people, like older, younger, people yeah. with different body types, bigger, smaller, whatever. Yeah. Um, so you do feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. When I've been, when we've gone the few times we just joined um, Las Vegas Athletic Club, mm -hmm. I, I've i already felt a little uncomfortable. Yeah. There's just, because you could, there's hell, uh, just speaking as a girl. <laughs> I'm just going to speak as a girl, because you have probably a different experience. You guys, there's hella dudes. Like, yeah. hella dudes there. And it's predominantly guys, that's for sure. Hella bros. But it also could be the time we're going. Could be. Yeah, I did see more women in the day when we had signed up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hella dudes. But I would definitely say it is more, more guy. Yeah. Yeah. And the guys just... Again, so friendly and nice. Like. <laughs> I don't want to be, you know, it's just there's an energy. If you guys have been to gyms, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. especially if it's a non planet fitness gym. I don't know if there's other gyms that are like more welcoming, but you mm -hmm. just get there's like a vibe of just like bro energy, you know. So, <laughs> anyway, so like I've noticed that like the times that we've we've gone, you know, mm -hmm. okay. But what's super cool mm -hmm. and a big reason and a big plus, and I didn't even realize that I wanted this feature, mm -hmm. but it's really cool. Yeah. You guys, so this place has a women's section only. to do only women's only mm -hmm. to do your cardios and your weights. There's just like one room. It has cardio, it has weights mm -hmm. and only women are allowed. And I was at first, I was, at first when she said it, when she told us about it, mm -hmm. I was like, this is a little like, Unnecessary? Unnecessary. Or I was even almost thinking like discriminatory. Like we should all just be mm. together and, you know, co-ed, right? Mm -hmm. And then I thought about it and I'm like, you know what? Like mm -hmm. women really, depending on who you are, you know, you really can feel intimidated, especially when there's a lot of guys there. And, you know, I I don't want to say, oh, oh, I just feel like, I hope the fam understands and I don't <laughs> want you guys to come for me. But back in the day, mm -hmm. like I go with Jamil all the time, but what, mm -hmm. I used to get hit on all the time at gyms yeah teenage years going by myself mm -hmm. all the time it was almost like a what's the word a meat it was a <laughs> a meat something meat whatever market. the meat market. <laughs> meat market that's what it felt like all i'm not kidding though mm -hmm. like looked at up and down da 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 so mm -hmm. um Anyways, this women's area I think is really, really good because sometimes mm -hmm. as women, especially like we don't want to be looked at, gawked at. Mm -hmm. We don't want to feel intimidated. Like we just want to get in, do our workouts, feel comfortable. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was actually like a different energy. So I've been in the room and it just feels really nice. There That's was true. some women there. Nobody was like looking at each other. Like we mm -hmm. were just like doing our thing. Yeah. So that was really cool. I think it's actually a really good idea. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, you were all about it when when she yeah told when she you. told me about it, I was like that's a mm -hmm. I'm like man they need that at all gyms yes it makes sense because mm -hmm. you constantly see like I've, I don't know how many times mm -hmm. you see like some girls trying to work out mm -hmm. and some random dude <laughs> walk over to them start mm -hmm. having a conversation all the time even and, comment oh. Yeah. Even comments, and I actually have to say this at Planet Fitness back when we lived in uh, California. Mm -hmm. This guy comes up to me. He mm -hmm. wasn't even hitting on me, but he made a comment. And he's like, oh, um, it's not good to drink water during your workout because it can increase your cellulite. <laughs> Some, f I, so I was about to drop an F-bomb. <laughs> what a, you know, it's like, I did not, I don't, who are you? Yeah. I didn't ask for your opinion on whether or not I should drink water. And please don't tell me yeah. what's going to increase my cellulite or not. Like, that. I just was like, get away, you know? Yeah. So yeah, it's things like this. that. Like, guys like to make comments, you know? Yeah. And I was very just like, ugh, you know? So anyways, so. Yeah, yeah. That was annoying. Well, I do have to say for me, you know. I go to the gym sometimes and these girls stare at me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, please stop. <laughs> I have a wife. God. Okay? Like seriously, like when I had a ring, I would go like this. <laughs> I had a ring on that finger, I'd hold it up, okay? The struggle's real out there. For the both. struggle is real. Stop. For, for men and women. Oh the struggle's real. <laughs> no, uh, but I get I I get it. I I yeah. 100 percent understand how you how you would feel. And I that, appreciate that. That would suck. Yeah, that would definitely suck. You know. So this yeah. So this place gets a, a bonus uh, for mm -hmm. the women's area. Okay, let's talk about the pool area. So you have the two mm -hmm. pools also, and mm -hmm. then this is something I. Okay, so anyways, here I'll tell you. So you have the two pools, mm -hmm. and then you also have a steam sauna inside of the pool area mm -hmm. and a dry sauna 
those are co-ed and she's specifically like okay so these are co-ed however women in their locker room have mm -hmm. a steam and a dry sauna just for them mm -hmm. i said great same Perfect. same deal right mm -hmm. um because i think they tell you too not to wear like your regular gym clothes in the sauna mm -hmm. they want you to wear like a bathing suit so i think that totally you know mm -hmm. so it makes sense know you know this way you're not forcing women to wear a bathing suit you know mm -hmm. with with dudes that they don't want to mm -hmm. um but I do have to say, so we were swimming and mm -hmm. I cannot tell you, and we're going like late at night, like midnight, <laughs> one o'clock. You would think nobody would be there. I'm telling you, there were 20 dudes just <laughs> in and out of the saunas. The steam just like all sweaty and, you know, <laughs> you know, they get come out, they take the shower. There's a shower right there. They wash mm -hmm. off, they breathe heavy, and then they go back in. And this is what men do, okay? This is just <laughs> hell of dudes. <laughs> and I'm telling you, if, you know, I was telling Jamil all this, mm -hmm. too. I'm like, I'm... I feel totally comfortable because I'm with him. Yeah. yeah, I'm with Jamil. We're fine. Like, yeah, I'm okay with him. Yeah, but um, like the swimming and stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, if I was by myself, just using the pool and just like all the guys and just the energy, I don't know. I just wouldn't. Yeah, feel you wouldn't feel comfortable, of no. course. And I think mm -hmm. that's actually probably why a lot of women. Well, I mean, we're going there late night, so there's not even a lot of women there, anyways. But I'm sure mm -hmm. some would be discouraged going into the pool if they're by themselves because literally that sauna has like windows right yeah. out. Oh, yeah. So they could just literally stare mm -hmm. at, at whoever's in the pool yeah. and literally just sit there. I'm sure they'd be staring at women all day. Yeah. Know? Cause some of those dudes, uh, and then they're like, yeah, it's funny. Like one guy, like we are kind of overheard like these, actually two guys like getting into like a heated Oh, argument. they have a hot tub too, I didn't say that. Oh yeah, they have a hot tub and stuff like that. Anyways, but but yeah. Oh yeah, these dudes yeah, are getting into a getting heated argument, argument like talking about <laughs> marketing and sponsors. And being an entrepreneur. And being an entrepreneur yeah. and literally like yelling, this guy's like, bro, you're not effing listening to me. You know, like having this like conversation and I'm just like, ugh, you Listen, know. Listen, you so. don't understand the passion, okay? <laughs> He's a bro, yeah. and he said that like three times. He was yelling yeah. at his. I think it was his friend. right? I think it was. I mean, I hope. I'm that pretty was sure his it was. Yeah. I hope it wasn't oh. a random person. He just started talking to the sauna. It's bad because you shouldn't talk to your friend like that, but you also shouldn't talk yeah. to a stranger like that. But it's at least more understandable if it's your friend. You definitely don't want to be talking to somebody you don't know. Like, like bro, that. you know, if you listening to me. Yeah. So, so let me ask you this then. So, does it make you feel mm -hmm. uncomfortable because? You feel like, you know, guys are staring, they could stare, or is it stare. more of just, like, irritating seeing, like, you know, a whole bunch of dudes there and, like, not, like, a balance with, like, women and men. It's just, like... Yeah, I wish there was, like, more of a balance in the pool area. Yeah. But, like, I get it. Like, if you're going to have probably mm -hmm. a separate women's sauna, that the women would probably choose to go in that one mm -hmm. and not the co-ed, although yeah, some would probably sure. go in the co-ed. Um, it's more like just, yeah, you mm -hmm. just get, like stared at you know yeah. that's just what it is but you really do you know and so it's just interesting um i'm trying to think like i know all jokes aside like seriously like mm -hmm. if it was reverse if it was like all women mm -hmm. and i was like the only dude yeah i probably wouldn't feel that comfortable either i'd be yeah. like I'd, i i don't know i'd feel mm -hmm. probably out you know myself like uh, like uh not out of out of my element you know you would bit. right i think so yeah how do you feel think... they were like 20 girls yeah and they were just like all there talking and yeah. chopping it uh -huh. up and like yep and then you come in to use the pool yeah i'd feel a little bit out of my you element, probably would you too know? yeah I, I definitely would I mean, I'd be fine, but I get it, though, especially, you know, yeah. if it would be in the reverse, you know. But. There's something about, like, an energy. And I, yeah. I was also telling Jamil this. Yeah. I got out of the, uh, one of the pools. Yeah. And I had it, you have to, to get out right in front of the sauna, by the way, the area to... Mm -hmm. exit the pool yeah. you're freaking facing the windows of the sauna so people are watching you get yeah. out of the pool so that's actually a bad that's kind of a problem anyways a i'm getting out of the pool and i just the dudes are just looking <laughs> yeah. and then i get into the other pool and i'm kind of like you know yeah. i looked over and i could tell one guy for sure was like probably talking about me because yeah. he was like looking at me and like turning away no like, he wasn't turning away well, he oh, was like okay, Sarah, he was like around. looking and like talking to like another guy mm. but, like staring at me and then i looked yeah. again i wasn't in my mind because i looked back again 10 mm -hmm. seconds later he, he was still looking and talking yeah so i exactly. have a you know you can kind of tell when someone's talking you know yeah you know no, of course about you. no 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 more than likely you know and especially mm -hmm. you know that's just what dudes got dudes mm -hmm. do because they all knew each other and they're in the sauna and they're probably all chopping it up together mm -hmm. and 
they're probably saying something for sure, you know? Yeah, so. Yeah, no, and I, I absolutely, I, I get that, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I know what you mean by that. So, how do yeah. you feel about it? Because I talked about mm -hmm. a lot about me, you know, but I am curious, like, how you yeah. feel, because you're... Uh, yeah, okay, it might be different. How do I feel about the the sauna itself, or are you well, talking about the whole gym? Yeah, the whole or... gym, and then oh, yeah, yeah, especially like yeah, maybe the pool area. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. No, I, I like the gym. I think it's I think it's great. I think like I said, there's little things, little small things that you have to see that I I don't really I'm not a big fan of. Mm -hmm. But outside, you know, in comparison to Planet Fitness, but outside of that, yeah, I mean, you know, for a guy as a guy, I'm not. It doesn't bother me because it's 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 just male dominated there, so mm -hmm. it is what it is. You know, I'm not I'm not like worried about it or intimidated or anything like that and as far as the pool goes um i don't know there's something i, I like to i like to have my space in the pool mm -hmm. or in the sauna or if you're in the hot tub or something like that and that kind of sucks when there's like 20 people in this hot tub some guy started and, singing oh some no. dude it said he was older and he started oh, singing no. very poorly <laughs> <laughs> hell aloud and he's like ooh this is me you know showing the guys like his music oh right, let me let me tell, explain it before oh my gosh. you yeah. and then I'm gonna call you out at the end okay, okay? I'm gonna call you out <laughs> so the guy so we're chilling there in, in the pool uh, once again you know we're over here because we're right next to the hot tub where mm -hmm. these guys are arguing and having this conversation and stuff like that one guy just busts out starts singing he starts singing some like you know old school like Motown <laughs> style you know music that he probably, I think he wrote or something. At first, I thought he was singing a song. So was I. I didn't. I never recognize didn't recognize it, it. Uh -huh. and it wasn't that great. <clears throat> he wasn't horrible. He was just consistently out of out of key. Mm -hmm. like um, me. <laughs> no, you're not consistently. <laughs> out of key. He was consistently out of key for sure. Uh -huh. And then um, anyway, so so he's singing, and then after that, like, you know, he's pulling guys to the side, which you didn't know that until I mentioned it. Uh -uh. He's pulling guys to the side, like, yeah, check out my music, listen to my music, this is my song, this is my song, check me out, and stuff like that. So, um, anyways, he's talking, doing his thing. Uh, then later on, everyone left, uh, we were still there, and then finally we, we went into the hot tub, and the guy's just there, kind of chilling and stuff like that. And we're, we're kind of next to him. And Kristen's like, you should sing some Sam Cooke right now. <laughs> Which is like random okay, as hell. It was listen. <laughs> Super random. Kristen never asked me to sing. I do ask him to sing. No. Okay, I do ask not him in to public, sing. Okay. And not Sam Cook. Not always in public. <laughs> it was it was so random. I'm gonna tell you why I asked it. <laughs> okay. Why? Okay. Yes, I have a feeling the guy singing poorly was obviously so. What happened was you try to have me battle sing this guy. That's what you want. That's what you wanted. Or something like that. I'm like, I'm not to, this isn't a, a rap okay. battle. I was hella relaxed in the hot tub. I swear. We were done working out. We went into the hot tub. I was hella relaxed. Yeah. And I was, I swear, this is what I thought. I thought okay. out of my mind, man, if Jamil just sang some <laughs> Sam Cooke right now, it would just, it like serenaded me. I would just, it would just like make my day. That's what I was thinking. Now, subconsciously, yes. Was it because... The guy sung poorly. He happened to still be in there. I knew you were way better than him. Sure. Did I want to show you off a little bit? I'm sure subconsciously I did. I, I but would I say swear it was more... I wanted it because I was it was gonna relax me. Okay. More. You can say that. <laughs> I'll allow you to have your opinion. My opinion is it was more conscious than subconscious. <laughs> I think you were a hundred percent trying to have it. Because it'd be one thing if you were like, hey, sing one twelve or sing Usher, like who I sing all the time. I know. But you're like Sam Cook. I did say Sam Cook. <laughs> Anyways, but but so so then I'm like, you know, she's like just like, yeah, sing. And I'm like, uh, and I had to like change the subject mm -hmm. and like talk about other stuff. Here's why. You guys, I, you know, I've come across so many people that mm. that really like over the years with music and stuff like that. Uh, musicians that would come up to me and like will say, you know, they'll sing and like, check out my like, stuff. Oh, you sing, check out my stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not trying to have this conversation about what songs you have. I didn't know the guy was a. I didn't hear that well, part. I know. I didn't I know. hear that the guy was like check out my stuff. Well, so hold on. Let me let me get to that point. Yes, okay. uh, you know, I'll let you defend yourself after. <laughs> okay. <I just> okay. <laughs> so so the guy was. <clears throat> so I didn't want. I didn't want to. I didn't pretty much want to like sing because as soon as I sang, mm -hmm. the guy is going to start singing too. Cause that's what guys just dudes do that. I'm telling you right now. 
I can't tell you how many you times. You think he was going to sing with Yes, you? Oh. I can't tell you how many times I've been in the studio, singing sessions, writing sessions, all that other stuff, where one person starts singing, the other person starts singing too, and, really? and sometimes people aren't good, and I don't want to hear that. I'm trying to See, relax. I didn't know that. In this, I know you didn't. I didn't. And this is why I had to shut it down. Because <laughs> <laughs> next he was going to be like, oh, check out my music and stuff like that, which, mm -hmm. you know, he did with everyone else. So, yeah, which I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, no, okay. it's all good. Um, so Jamil was not trying to have. Yeah. You just didn't want to hear him. You didn't want to hear his I was, spiel of I was like, to check to have out my conversation. music. Yeah. I was trying to chill in the hot tub with you and mm -hmm. have a, a good work, finish up workout and stuff like that. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> anyways, I can't remember what my point was. I don't even think that was it. Even if the guy, even if somebody hadn't have sang yeah. and I asked you to sing and there was one other person there, you still wouldn't have wanted to sing because he never likes to sing in public. No, no, no. That's not true. I sing all the time in public. I have no problem singing in public. That's all last time you the sang time. In public. But, but when's the last time I sang? Randomly. Exactly. Uh -huh. You know that I sing in public. Well, no, I, you know. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about no, when doesn't. you on cue. Like if you're like, hey, yeah, sing same, for same, that same. person. Yeah. I haven't done that. I don't do that. Like <laughs> I just don't like really randomly just do that. I don't yeah. know. That's just not me. And I'll like, yeah. I'll have a conversation with someone who's like, hey, you know, um, I don't, I don't know. It depends on the conversation, essentially. Yeah, I know. However, My point is you would not in accept. public, though, I've sat yes. plenty of times randomly yes. on the street yeah. for people and stuff like that. Okay. I don't like doing it all the time. I don't, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a karaoke machine yeah. where you can just hit play <laughs> and just start singing randomly. But you're just so good. I appreciate it. But to me, there's no point in trying to impress this guy or something like that, and then he's going to want to talk my ear off about how he's worked with you know <laughs> these people back this in the day that and that person yeah. and and now he's trying to do his own thing and check out my music and it's not on spotify it's not anywhere online it's only on this cd that he has and we don't even have cds players <laughs> <laughs> so you know so anyways yeah, yeah but no no anyways i'm not trying to i'm not trying to come in hard yeah, yeah. it's more of a joke <laughs> obviously it's not that big of a deal but mm -hmm. <clears throat> but it is i just i definitely don't like doing that mm -hmm. on the on the fly sometimes because you know you just you never know who you're gonna run into okay and then on top of that too sorry you guys i gotta rant about this because <laughs> this is something i i don't like they always want to collab yeah, people they always want to collab they're they like let's collab let's do music together let's do this and i'm just like yeah i know what you I mean i don't want to collab i know what you mean. <laughs> i get it there's yeah. a lot that comes with there's a lot that comes showing with. people yeah your talent in public, especially if that person has the same talent. Yes, like, if, right? I, if I'm then, hearing a person, right. but see, there's more to it than that. Like, I've learned that it's not even just the talent. Like, if mm -hmm. somebody has good talent, um, that's okay if you want to work with mm -hmm. them, but it's really about the drive. Like, if mm -hmm. this guy was like, I'm hustling, I'm online, I'm, uh, you know, putting my music out, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm here, I'm there, I'm performing, I'm doing all this stuff, mm -hmm. and he was good, yeah. I'm like, oh, for sure, let's, you know, let's collab in some sort of way. Yeah. I would love to offer whatever help I can definitely do to help you to get to where you're trying to go. Right. But a lot of people really aren't trying to mm -hmm. do that. A lot mm -hmm. of people just love to hear themselves sing. They just love to, mm -hmm. to, to, you know, the fact that they put a CD together, that excites them enough. Mm -hmm. They're just happy to have something. Mm -hmm. So so that's a big part of it, you know? I've just, I've just you know, I guess for me, I've done so much like music with people over the years um, and and people are always like, let's collab, let's collab. You collab with them and you never hear anything about the songs anymore. Yeah. The songs just disappear. They don't put them out. Sure. Nobody does anything yeah. and it's just kind of, of course. like, oh, yeah. It's rare for <clears throat> a song to... Yeah. And then I can't tell you, mm -hmm. I cannot tell you the amount of songs that I recorded that were horrible. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Horrible Jamil guys. Jamil used to write choruses for people. Oh my god. He probably has written a hundred <clears throat> choruses. No, more it. than that. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, I guess maybe more like two hundred or yeah. three hundred even. Yeah. Oh yeah. For, he so used to just many. do choruses. People used to pay him for that. Oh, and man. and I remember some of the choruses you had to. Oh. My god. <laughs> because Jamil would obviously put his input, but it's the other person's song, right? Yeah. They yeah. They would just hire him for the chorus, and so Jamil yeah. would be like, "Oh, let's try this," and they'd be like, "No, I want I want this." <laughs> yeah. And I remember some of the songs you showed me were just. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, some of the done. it's the beats, right? Yeah. It was the instrumentals was that the they beat, gave you, right? But it was also what you had to say. Yeah, oh yeah, what I had to say, of course, that was a problem. <laughs> yeah, people would people would give me like 
beats that literally like sounded incomplete. And some would write the lyrics for him too, and the lyrics were just really bad. Yeah, but those were better. <clears throat> I preferred if they wrote the lyrics because then I didn't have to think of something creative right. to put on their song but, that might have not, that wasn't going to do But it, it was always Whack Attack though. Yes, so it not was hard always, because either. I would get a lot, a lot of times I would, when people would write um, the hook mm -hmm. and be like, this is the melody mm -hmm. and here's the beat. Mm -hmm. I'd say 80% of the time, it, maybe even like 90% of the time, it was out of key. Mm. And whatever they were singing did not go with the beat. I'm like, so I so I would have to re, you know, mm. uh, fix it and stuff like mm. that, fix it up. So I just, I don't know. I love yeah. singing. I love doing music. But the business side of things, dealing with people, I just stay away from it. And, and I don't sing Sam, Sam Cooke in hot tubs. I appreciate you telling me <laughs> all that because I forget. Like, yeah. you have reasons behind it. And yeah. I actually appreciate that we're telling about it in front of me and in front yeah, of Yeah, it's okay. Because yeah. I actually, I get all that. Because yeah. it, it's not just as simple as singing. Because yeah. that's what I think it is. I'm like, oh, yeah. just sing to me. Yeah. You know? It's and simple. It'll, it's a simple thing. I could, of course, just sing to you. Of course, it's a simple thing, yeah. but what you don't like the after, the outcome, the aftermath, the, yes. what could happen. Mm -hmm. And that guy, because, which I didn't know, that he was trying to push his music yeah. to other people. Yeah. Clearly, the guy probably would have did that, so I understand you just wanted yeah. to relax, so mm -hmm. I get it. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. So okay, we we digress yes. a little bit. <laughs> I will not ask you to sing in the hot tub unless we are completely alone. Around other singers that <laughs> can or cannot sing. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's cool. I, okay. you know, obviously, I'm just giving you a hard time. No, I'm just no. yeah. making a joke out of things like that. I didn't mind. I mean, I did. I did mind, but I'm not like mad or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But I think you knew what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my opinion. <laughs> If you one thing, if you were like, "Oh, just sing any song you want," can you just? I just I, I had Sam Cooke in my Cook. head. Sam Cooke, good song. Born, yes, born by, uh, okay. born by a river. Okay. 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 Maybe, maybe a little tense. Did. I could be wrong. I had it in my head. No, but I do think obviously the guy singing and probably the old song, yeah. you know, got in my head. You know, who knows? And yeah. then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got in there. I just wanted him to sing. Yeah, <laughs> that's and all good. he still doesn't sing for me, so <laughs> that is what it is. I'll sing. I'll sing Anyways, some point back to you. back to the LVAC yeah. Las Vegas Athletic Club. Yes, I love the fact that they have separate women's sections. I think that's really important for women to feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Most gyms should have some type of an area like that. Yeah. Um, and the pool is is a little hectic, but I yeah. feel good going with you i really don't feel like that uncomfortable except yeah. for when the guy was like looking at me and talking yeah. for like hella long and i knew they were like saying something who knows whether yeah. it's good or bad it doesn't matter it's like just you don't want anybody talking about you so. that's true i mean you know it's interesting because i do like co-ed like majority of things mm -hmm. i like is co-ed but i i wouldn't I, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have gyms certain gyms that we're able to split it between men and women because mm -hmm. I do think for you know for women it's can be uncomfortable with dudes like just staring and mm. you know some guys aren't slick you know they'll just stare They're not stare sl stare yeah, right. it's like no. you gotta be slick man you gotta just look and look away <laughs> like come on <laughs> come on you can't just stare Jamil's gonna look in without staring listen like I never I'll, look all the time I'll be like okay. ooh did you see her butt and he's like yep I saw it <laughs> like he no or or no or no 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 I think one time we were at Planet Fitness we yeah. get out back to the car yeah. and I'm like man there was this girl with hell ass he's like oh yeah I saw her you know it's a BBL yeah Double XL level with the no, just joking. I don't even know. But I'd be like, oh yeah, I saw it. Like you never miss yeah. a good butt, you know? It's just really funny. Yeah, but I just don't. So. I don't. I'm not gonna stare. Like yeah, you just, don't stare. Yeah, just yeah. look and be like, okay, let me make sure I see that side. The you know what I mean? Like I'm not staring. Yeah. I just look really quick and look away. You know? Yeah. But you like make a note. Like oh, she has that. Sure. You know? Maybe yeah. I will. Yes. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. So I'm, not, I'm not like these other dudes that are just like you know. Yeah. Doing no, stuff, I. So. Anyway, so yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we'll be going to both. So cool. Um, but it just sucks that there are mm -hmm. cons to the pool area at this place too. So yeah. not That's only cool. our apartment complex, but also there's cons to yeah. this area. So well, do we want blasted okay. music and kids, ch you know, right. talking about shooting people and, and stuff like that? Oh, because you know, they were talking about shooting people. Yeah, they were I'm the like, kids guys, at our apartment complex. Yeah, like, please don't. You're 16, <laughs> maybe 17. Yeah. You're chilling. You got you the, you you the nice have. place and I know, pool. I know, I know, I know. Blast music. There. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. do we want. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. Or, or do we want. 
a whole bunch of dudes in Hella the pool. Bros <laughs> in the pool in the hot tub. I'll take the bros. Talking about <coughs> marketing and stuff. That's fine. Cause... I'll actually probably take that too because the the obnoxious blasting music <laughs> and the alcohol is just like too much. Yeah. At least like you know. Yeah. That's okay. So. No, for sure, for yeah. sure. I feel you. Okay, you guys. Thanks Anyways, for listening. Fam, that was our venting. That was our conversation. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Tell Kristen to not have me sing for people. And no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. And let us know what you think of the the separate like women section. Yeah. Do you think that's a good idea? Is that something that you would want? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm just curious. Yeah, okay. for sure. Okay, fam. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, share, just care, and let your friends and let me know what the K and J fam are doing. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night. Whatever time it is out there, we will see you in our next video. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace out, Travis.